Hey everyone, this is Kit Cabello of Hard Lens Media. We are wrapping up the Factory Farm Forum here in Illinois. And I'm joined here with a member of Crate Free Illinois, Jessica Chipman. Thank you so much for joining Hard Lens Media, Jessica. Thank you very much for being here today. So essentially, what is Crate Free Illinois and uh, what's the situation uh, in regards to basic uh, protections for animals as well as uh, local independent farmers? Well, Crate Free Illinois is a 501c3 nonprofit that we, are, we really formed about two years ago to help people become aware of the conditions that factory farm animals live on. And we, you know, we rely on technology. We developed a mobile app to help people understand the best places to buy animal food products. And Illinois, interestingly, has, is rated number one in the country by an organization that puts out a rating of animal protection laws, but it's only for domestic animals. There is not one law on the books right now that protects animals raised for food. So that was really um, part of our mission is to advocate for those laws. We're not the kind of organization that can lobby. We're not that kind of nonprofit, but we, are, we encourage people to work with organizations like the Humane Society, which can do that. So the formation of this Ag Council today is a really big step in trying to get protection for not only for farm animals that are raised on these CAFOs, but also for the traditional farmers that treat their animals naturally and let them live natural lives. So right now there's really no laws on the books to protect these animals. Now in the two years uh, Crate Free Illinois has been here uh, in the state of Illinois, uh, how, uh, what has been the dialogue between your organization and uh, elected officials? Well, we really have no dialogue because we're the kind of 501c3 that can't really um, advocate for a certain candidate. So we would we would well for instance what we're going to do in the upcoming gov gubernatorial race we're going to make sure that all the people that follow us on social media know what these candidates policies are so we can't actually promote one but our job really is to um, f um, inform people because we are not, we can't actively support one in any way. Right. Uh, but I mean, in regards to not like uh, supporting a candidate, but I mean. Have you spoken to yes. any uh, recent yes. elected officials and got their thoughts on the factory farms here in Illinois? No, I um, haven't really spoken to any current elected officials, but we are uh, talking to each one of the ones that people that are running for governor. We've had a good a conversation with Dan Biscoing, with um, Chris Kennedy I met with recently in St. Charles and talked to him. So we are talking to them. We're letting them know what our mission is and, their sh and they both of these gentlemen really want to know more. So, so far we've talked to those two and we do intend to talk to all the others as well. Now, there have been uh, many disturbing videos on YouTube or e on social media in regards to what happens inside these large factory farms here uh, across the country. Uh, in Illinois, is the situation the same? Well, I haven't seen any videos that took place in Illinois, but if um, earlier when I talked about the Mashoffs, they are based in Illinois, and they actually have facilities in nine, yeah, I think it's nine Midwest states, and some of the videos that have been taken at their facilities have been really, really horrific, and that's really what kind of gave me the motivation to do this petition. So I personally don't know, I probably would, if I, I haven't heard any that were shot in Illinois, but there have been some that are owned by parent companies that are based in Illinois. And a uh, final question for our viewers and subscribers so they can learn more about your organization. Where, do, where can they find you on social media and uh, where can they uh, find the app uh, so they can download it? Um, they can find us on, well our website is www.cratefreeil.org and there is a tab on, the, um, on our website that says buy local and it has the links to download our, our mobile app but you can get the app on the on both stores, the iStore and the um, Google Play Store. They're available there. Um, we've also got a really active Facebook page, so they can find us there. And they could also, um, if they want to get involved in our organization, they could just send, um, they could just, uh, let's see, email Andrew at CrateFreeIL.org. He's our community engagement manager, and he will get back to you and talk to you about what kind of skills that you have or how you want to contribute or what kind of time you have and we're all volunteers I have a day job everybody else has a day job we kind of do this late at night and on weekends because we care about it so there's no like big time commitment I obviously put in a lot more into it than other people but we have volunteers that really just have a half hour every few weeks and that's okay too we do a lot of events 
Uh, we do a lot of social media. We're always looking for more people to be on the social media team as well. So. All right, well, then that's a great note to end it on. And this is Kid of Harlands Media. Peace, everyone. You're watching Hard Lens Media.